If you want to see how I got this gorgeous look, keep watching. Scratch next day. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Kiana Marie, and I'm back with another video. So today we have yet another wig from You Nice Hair. I know the packaging is a little bit different, but, you know, same company, same styles. We have a 13 by 4 transparent lace 20-inch skunk stripe body wave wig. But before we get into that, I'm going to unbox all the goodies. I got a wig cap, eyelashes, a melt band, and then, of course, you know, a Unis powder brush. That comes with about every wig that I get. Here's the transparent lace sticker, as you guys can see. The wig is 150% density, and this is just me unboxing it. Now, first off, that middle part came pre-plugged, so that was already a plus because it's hard for me to do my middle parts. So I like when wigs come like that. Second, the wig did come fully curled. Do y'all see that? Fully curled and pre-plugged, but you know me. I'm a girl who likes to bleach my knots, so we're going to have to mess that up a little bit. And then, of course, the elastic band. So I'm taking my BW2 powder and I'm just going to do one cup of that, put it in there because I am bleaching two wigs at this time. So I figured why not just make extra mixture. And then I'm going to take my superstar 30 volume developer, pour that in and then mix it till it's like a toothpaste consistency. And yes, this is an Amazon wig. This is from You Nice Hair Amazon. Y'all know I love my Amazon finds. It is currently on sale for $150 for the 20 inch. So make sure you guys go check that out. And before bleaching, I'm just brushing back those flyaways with some hairspray just so that way, you know, none of the actual hair gets bleached. And then I'm just gonna go in and spread my bleach mixture all on it. I feel like this technique is way better than what I was doing before because this way it makes sure that none of the hair gets bleached and I can actually put the foil paper in way easier before i always ended up with like the sides a little bit over bleach or like some section just had something going wrong so if you're a beginner bleacher i highly recommend doing it this way that way none of it can get on the hair and you know the hair is fully protected Like I said, I was bleaching two weeks at the time, but look at those knots. I feel like they were pretty much done. Look at that orange. So I went ahead and left on my purple clarifying shampoo for about 10 minutes. And then when I rinsed it out, I made sure to fully wash the wig as well. So I washed it with shampoo and conditioner just because it did come pre-curled. So I thought there was product on it that they may have used to curl it, which is why I was like, you know what? Let me just wash it out because I am going to do the curls all over again. So I wanted to start fresh. I was a little bit nervous about the color coming out but when i washed it only a little bit of you know just regular running was happening nothing excessive the color stayed perfect look at that so right here we're about to get ready to start plucking now it did come pre-plucked but i'm not doing any baby hairs i don't know lately i've been boycotting baby hairs on my installs i feel like no baby hairs has just been a look lately so i'm not doing any so i am gonna go in and just get in some extra plucking I'm spraying my L'Oreal Sleek It heat protectant spray all over the hair. You're supposed to spray it when it's damp. So I'm just doing that while it's damp. So that way when I actually flat iron it, I don't need to put any product on the hair. And now I'm just doing the pluck and skip method where I pluck a section for about six seconds going back. And then I skip over one and I just keep doing it. And then after that, I just brush out whatever hair is left and look at my progress. I keep brushing while I'm plucking just to make sure I'm not overdoing it. And then after I do each section, I go in with the same thing just until it's how i like although i do the same technique as others the way that i pluck might be a little bit different i don't like that hairline that looks like a fork i hate it personally um if you like it you know that's your preference but i don't like when the hairline looks like that i feel like it's too harsh i like a much softer hairline now i do pluck but i make sure it's not too neat so that way it does mimic a natural hairline in some sense if you guys could tell don't mind my arm being in the front of the camera i did not know my arm was up in there like this but this is what the sides are looking like they look just as natural as i wanted i do leave a lot of hair at the front just because i don't like when the front of the hair is thinned out and because i kind of like to give a widow's peak effect y'all probably looking at that towel like girl that towel needs to go that is my bleaching towel that is the towel that i bleach hair on all the time just because i know it's gonna mess up stuff and i don't like working at a desk so i always use that towel whenever i'm bleaching it just makes things 10 times easier for me 
right here, I'm just breaking up any harsh lines that are at the front of the hairline, just so that way it don't look like the hairline was drawn on. It looks very natural and free flowing. And this is it all done. When I flat ironed it, you know, made my part. It looks amazing. Not flat ironed, I mean hot comb. So this is the wig on the mannequin head and now we're about to get ready to put it on my head. I'm using the Unis transparent wig cap that came with the wig and I'm just putting one of those over my hair. Before I do, I'm going to take some argan oil and just put that along my edges to make sure they're protected. I always do this. This is the key to actually having edges under your installs. Y'all see I got a good amount of hair. But after that, I just take some hairspray and I use that to sleek it back with a blow dryer. That makes sure that one, since I don't do the ball cap method, my hair is put back. And then two, my edges are protected no matter what product I'm using. After I do that, look how easy my ball cap goes on. Just look at that. And I just slide it back and boom, no edges left out, hair fully protected. Love it. So we're going to be taking my Ruby Kisses cream foundation and just lightly putting that along the hairline. I do it lightly just because I want to give the cap a light color since it is so transparent. You really don't need a lot with these type of caps. And then next, I'm going to be taking a dark foundation and putting that right at the front just to get rid of that line. Now, I was using my contour in previous videos, but I decided not to waste my contour on this when I just have a dark foundation that I'm not using because I use my contour every day, so it just makes sense. Now, we about to take some rubbing alcohol and just clean that up. Before, I was cleaning before I put the wig cap on. Now, I'm cleaning after because that extra foundation does put some product back on my forehead. So, it don't make no sense to clean before. I'm making sure to adjust the elastic band at the back to make sure this wig is snug on my head. As well as those two little straps that come with it. I feel like the elastic band is always going to be my favorite part. Because I love when a wig feels snug on my head. Especially because I have a small head. I do this at the beginning of every install. But I'm cutting off that extra lace. Because I don't know who's going to be able to see with everything over their eyes. Definitely not me. Look at how beautiful this wig is. Look at that hairline. I really did my big one. Now, after we do that, I'm just going to go ahead and cut off those ear tabs. One thing I love about Unice hair wigs, they feel like they're made for my head. Like, y'all see, I don't really have any problems cutting off ear tabs when it comes to these wigs. Ear tabs is never an issue for me. So, cut that off. Perfect. Now, I'm about to do the same exact thing to the other side. Now that we got both of the sides off, I'm going to go ahead and section my lace. Now, I always cut, I usually cut four sections, but because I feel like this hairline is way easier, I'm only cutting three. I feel like I could work with three today. I don't know. <laughs> but I did realize that I didn't put any foundation on the lace. So I'm using that same brush that I went in with on my ball cap. And I'm just rubbing off the extra foundation on my lace because I don't feel like I need it too much. But I am setting it. I do that to make sure my foundation is never oily. So now I'm cutting in zigzag motions of that front section. I always do the front first because I feel like, you know, it's easier to start from the middle. I don't know. And after I cut that, I am going to move it back to get ready to start my installing process. And I am going to be using my even spray. My plan is to take about three layers because I am going somewhere tonight. So taking about three layers and I'm just doing each section. After that, I blow dry it to make sure it's nice and sticky. Now, one thing with the even spray, it might look like it's fully dry, but then when you press your finger on it, it actually is very tacky. So I blow dry it for a good minute after I do each layer. And then I also make sure to spread it out because I don't want it to go past where I'm putting my hairline. Now, this is me laying it down. I'm using my double-ended edge brush. This brush helped me a lot. I don't know. I love having a brush like this. I just use it to stick that down. And now we're going to do the other sections. For this one, I did my first layer off camera, but for the sides, I always only do two like very big layers just because I spray a lot at the sides, as you can tell from right here. So I don't think I need three. I think three would be way too gummy and the consistency just wouldn't be right. I don't think it would dry in time. So I always just do two layers for the sides and I use the end of my rat tail comb to stick those down because it might be a little bit harder to grab onto the sides. So I just use the rat tail and press that in, wait till it's to my liking, and then I do the exact same thing for that third side. This 
it's important to know I am blow drying on cool, not warm, not hot. I'm blow drying on cool. When I blow dry on warm or hot, I notice that completely dries the spray, and that is not what we need. I had to cut some niggas out, they didn't mean me no good. I come from the ghetto, so my trunk is in my hood. She wouldn't wear no panties around me, even if she could. Gave out plenty spankings, but they got it understood. So after our hairline was all done, I'm going in with the same brush that I used to contour my face because that contour color is like the perfect thing to get rid of that white cast. But then I realized going in with a big brush wasn't really working. So I'm going in with a small brush I used on my lace in the beginning and I'm just going in with that darkest color. Now I'm going in tiny little, you know, circles, just making sure to blend as much as possible. And after that, I'm going to clip my hair up and I'm going to go in with my Fantasia spritz and just spray that all along the hairline just to make sure it melts. After I sprayed the hairline, you know, made my extra little face shield, I'm taking that melt band they gave me and I'm just tying it and leaving that one for 10 minutes. Now look at the final melt when I take it off. This melt looks amazing. White cast is gone. That technique works every single time using your contour shade. So now we about to get ready to actually style the hair. Now the hair looks really good in the state that it's in, but I am going to do some curls. So I got to go in with my wax stick and get that front looking sleek because right now it's looking a little bit crazy. I use my She Is Bomb wax stick. I do have another one that I'm going to be using in different videos, but I love She Is Bomb. I just love the color of it. Not the color, the smell. Girl, what am I talking about? <laughs> I just love the smell of it. And I'm going in with my hot comb and getting the hairline how I want it. I accidentally burned myself because i wasn't really paying attention that's one thing i'm scared of with the hot comb that's why you don't see me going too close to my ears because my hands they gonna stray and afterwards i'm just doing that part all the way down trying to get it as flat as possible i noticed that one side just kept sticking up but after i got it as flat as i wanted look at how pretty that is you can't tell me this hair looks good straight curled whatever y'all saw by the thumbnail that it looks good curled but y'all don't think it would look good straight i think it looks really good straight but we about to get into curling it either way. I'm doing the technique of curling the hair away from my face. Now, I didn't put any product on this hair after washing. And I'm talking about like no product except that heat protectant. I didn't use no, no hairspray, no nothing. I literally sprayed the heat protectant on while it was damp. And look at how beautifully this hair is curling. And it looks sleek. It doesn't look frizzy. It doesn't look nothing. Look at those curls. Like this hair is really good quality. Like I said, for an Amazon pre-colored wig with real transparent lace for $150 for 20 inches. Yeah, go copy some in the bio. So this is just me going through the curls again. I wanted to make sure they were kind of layered, if that makes sense. Now, I didn't end up layering the hair, which I probably should have did before curling because I have a habit of layering after I curl. But after I did that one side, I was like, you know what? I'm going to just go ahead and cut the other side and see how it is. But it's coming out cute so far. So with the other side, my curls were a little bit tighter. So at the front, I was trying to like play in the second one to really get it to look like this. See, this is why I should have layered it. But that's fine. So after I brushed it back when it was all done, I'm using a wide tooth comb. Because I don't want to mess up the curls or brush them out. And after I got it to my liking, this is the finished product. And now we about to get into the details. All right, so I feel like you nice hair has been killing it lately with these installs. Just look at how beautiful this hair curled. I can't, I think this is my favorite colored wig so far. The highlights definitely look amazing. They placed them very like precisely i think with the red being in the front and then most of the back being black as well as these two like streaks like money pieces right here this is you nice hair y'all know i love me a you nice hair amazon wig so this is from you nice hair amazon it is their blonde red skunk stripe unit it is a 13 by 4 transparent lace body wave wig lace definitely is transparent you guys know most unice amazon wigs are transparent lace as by that little sticker and the lace smells pretty well the last highlighted wig i did for you nice I did do baby hairs with it, but I felt like this one didn't even need any baby hairs. The hair curled beautifully. I did go ahead and just put in a little bit of layers right at the front to make the pieces come down how I wanted them to. Color was amazing, bleached well, 
it did come pre-plucked but i plucked it more to my liking since i wasn't doing any baby hairs at all you didn't need to pluck a lot i didn't i wouldn't say i plucked out a whole bunch out of it i just did enough to where it was like how i wanted on my forehead if that makes sense look at how bouncy these curls are like i said it is 150 percent density and it is 20 inches now this 20 inch is pretty i'd say this is long for 20 inch and it is very full yeah the length is not skimped at all very to the length i love how full this wig is like just look look at this it has movement it's just really nice i didn't put any like excessive products i literally only put heat protectant i didn't apply any oil sheen to it yet i didn't apply any spritz to it yet to hold the curls nothing so this is really it just right after it's curled everything i love this wig it's currently on sale on amazon for 150 something dollars so this is a perfect wig for those who want a good wig on the budget definitely has y'all can tell i'm in love with this hair this hair is for just gorgeous if you want to find an affordable colored wig definitely the best option to go for $150 is really a good price for a pre-colored wig especially one with a good lace I know a lot of um wigs on Amazon sometimes it can be either or I always love how well you nice colors their hair when I was washing it only a little bit of the red came out not a lot but not to the point where it stained the blonde either so the color job is pretty good I will I think I washed and rinsed it about two times just because the purple shampoo was already on the hair. And then I really wanted to get it extra clean and soft to try out this new um, heat protectant that I got. But yeah, make sure you check out the description box below. Don't forget to go on Amazon and check out more of Eunice Amazon wigs as well as look at my Eunice Amazon playlist. I do have a whole playlist for them because their wigs are really nice. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.